Hello there, amazing and wonderful geeky people of YouTube. So, I want to talk about what Van Jiao is doing better than Arts. And I know a lot of you guys out there will be coming out of me and say, Oh, Arts is the best because I get to choose what I install and I don't like the Calamari installer the way that they install a lot of clone and blah 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 blah. Well, they do have a minimalistic installer that you can install. And you have to remember, what you like may not be the same thing that the, your neighbor like and stuff like that. If you like arts and you like to do it yourself and you have the time and you don't mind installing it from scratch, basically following a recipe, go at it, have fun, I'm totally with you. If you're one of the guys like me that don't really care so much about the installation and selection, selecting pro, uh, process uh, of an installer, I just want my operating system up and running really really fast and then I can go to get to work. That's where I, I'm at. And that's why I kind of like Mantiao a little bit better than Arts. Or I like Salient OS or Endeavor OS and all, all the other derivative or respin of Arts that give you a faster install then I like Arts because I don't care for sitting and, and doing everything in the command line and selecting every package and stuff like that to tailor to my need because there are distributions out there that give me 99% or 95% of what I want. Either I have to remove a couple of programs or I have to install a couple of programs. It's still faster than building Arts from scratch without a script or anything like that. Meaning that you take the Arts website and you do it and do it yourself and then you customize the package selection and all that but if that's what you like and you you're one of those people that that think that's fun way to spend 30 minutes or something like that do it i can install uh, this os in like 10 minutes or something like that I'm, I'm, I'm up and running so i can get to work that's just how my preference is i want to get to work so i was talking about ubuntu and pop os and all that and this Michael Cowman, I hope I pronounced your name right, or is it a pseudonym or something like that, but he, he has, on some of my videos, talked about why don't you try out Mantiao with this or Mantiao Gnome and stuff like that. Here's the thing, I've been using Mantiao for years. The same with Arts, I have a virtual machine where I have a lot of distribution on, and I spend at least an, an hour on Arts a day, Mantiao a day, Fedora a day. Yes, I spend a lot of time in front of my PC. So I have, I even have Mantiao both the KDE, the XFCE, and the Gnome Edition installed on my physical hardware a lot of times. Uh, Salen I've installed. I'm all over the place. So I, I kind of want to talk about, again, like I said in the beginning, why I think Mantiao is doing a lot of things better than us. But this is how my Mantiao looks like when it's set up. This is not how it looks like when it comes out of the box. That's not the point with this video. So bear with me. And... I just want to go into one of the tools that they have to begin with is this little tool here. I don't languages and local settings and time and date. I do like they have this uh, hardware configuration here. Think of this as Ubuntu's um, proprietary driver installer. I really, really like to have this. Yes, you can just type in a command and stuff like that, and you get that on the us. This is just a little bit more convenient. I would not say easier or more understandable. It's just more convenient, and I like convenience. And then this is the big tool for me. They make it really, really easy and convenient to manage kernels. Have more than one kernel running. And, and you go in here, oh, if this kernel don't work and I have installed this one, I can actually go in here and then say run this kernel next boot. It's really, really easy. I don't have to go in and again do command line magic or stuff like that. Or automatically set it, set, select it under the boot up um, selection when, when I go into uh, boot up in crop. This would just do it automatically for me. It's just, again, it's all these small um, quality of life improvements that Mantiao puts into the overrating system that I really, really, really like. That makes my workday, my time with Mantiao a little bit conven more convenient, a little bit more faster to some extent than it does under Arts. Am I losing control? Not really. This is just, I could do this on Arts under a command line, or I could do this here in, 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 a, in a settings manager. You pick your poison, basically. So that that's also one of the things that I really really like about Arts. I also like, oh, sorry, Mandia. I also like that that they bundle some of the AUR packages in the default repo. So you get a little bit bigger default repo than you could do with Arts. So Parmac, as an example, is in the default repo with a lot of other things. Think like the Xbox uh, controller driver is in the default repo because they try not to rely on the AUR and I'm one of those people that really don't like the AUR and apparently they are not uh, uh, they are in the same boat 
And also, if you go in here, they talk about, I'm looking over their website, but it's basically just to make some points. You know, the data is yours and blah, blah, blah. You have control over your PC. Well, you could debate that you have more control over it with Arts because you install everything you want. And here you update when you want. The same with Arts, to be honest. Yes, that's that's the, the thing that I want to talk about. So Manjiao has always been, and again, there are people out there saying this is not the case. There are people are saying this is the case. But Manjiao has always been looked a little bit as the more stable Arts. You know, it's it's um, it's meant to be tested a little bit more and 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 security fixed and stuff like that a little bit better than arts. Some say yes, some say no. Again, some say Ubuntu is the fastest and best distribution they have ever used, and some people can't even get Ubuntu installed on their PC. It all depends on the users. But the the overall consent is that Mandiao is a tad bit more stable and a tad bit more not I will not say user friendly, but convenient. You know, you don't have so many manually in intervention with Mandiao as you have with Arts. And this is the reason here, if you look at their release, how they release packages. So it comes from Arts daily, going to unstable, and then it goes up to testing, and then it goes up to Arts. And I think they say something like, Mandiao is like a week to two weeks behind mainline Arts. Yeah, mainline Arts. And I don't have a problem with that, to be honest. And you can see here, they fast track security updates. So yes, they are getting security updates. A lot of people think that rolling releases don't get security updates. They do. The same with Solus, they have like a section in the update called security updates. It, it's just because it's a rolling release don't mean that it can't get security updates. It's, 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 it's a misconception out there. But I like this. Uh, I think Sud Reboot, he, he looks at, uh, he say this a lot, that look at Manjiao as Arts LTS version. And I think that's kind of correct. Even though Manjiao is not as stable as an Ubuntu LTS, in my opinion, I have had Mandiao and Arts break on me way more times than Man than Ubuntu have break breaked on me. Here's the thing, no matter if you're using a static release or rolling release, at some point in the update history, you will have some hardware that will give you problems, or there will be an updating process, even if you install it from scratch, you know, you, you reinstall Ubuntu each six months. At some point, something will happen that breaks your system. It's on, you can't, you can't go away from it. The chances are, with static releases that that goes, you know, it, it's further and further between where rolling releases, they have the reputation, which in my case and in my experience is fault that they break a lot often. I haven't seen the evidence of that. Again, what is break? It's what is unstable. Like, do you, do you need, is man, manual in invention in us? Is that, a, is that a form of break? It's, is that a form of instability or something like that? Some will say yes, some will say no. The same with Ubuntu. If you're upgrading a version in Ubuntu from one version to another, you sometimes have to change some hard uh, software commands or put in an extra command or something get redundant and have to be removed that you were relying on and stuff like that. So what is a break? It's and store or stuff like that. Like, I see it like you can't use your, your PC, that's a break it's for me. If you have to go in and do manual intervention and stuff like that, it's an inconvenience, but it's not a fault. You know, it's not like, oh, now it's unstable or now the system broke and stuff like that. I've had NVIDIA driver updates break my my Ubuntu install, just as I've had here in Arts and Yao. So this is also what I think Yao is doing better than Arts. They're taking Arts and making it a little bit more, uh, not usable, but a little bit more stable, or they try to make it a little bit more stable. And in my experience and the people I have talked to, they kind of come to the same conclusion. They, again, the overall consent and what people are saying about the arts forum is that it's a friendlier place than the arts forums. Why that is? I don't know. Do they have some policies in there? I don't know. I, I've never been in arts forums or Mandiao forums. If you watch videos about people who have been in the arts forum and, and, and um, Mandiao forum, they always say that they feel that the Arts, oh sorry, the Mandiao forums are way more friendly and you don't get this read the fucking manual all the time and stuff like that, which I'm really, really against. Because it's... It, it, yes, you should read the manual, yes, you should learn, but some people just want a command. And they don't understand this, This is that's the problem. They don't understand this language. It's, it's like, if you're not a lawyer and you start to read legal documents and all that, do you understand that? So tell a person to go and read the manual is like me telling you if you don't know what a lawyer speak is and have never read anything that a lawyer have, you know, a lawyer document before and I say, okay, read that and then give me all the details uh, in an hour. You don't understand shit, a shit of what they're saying, well, or it's cryptic speak and stuff like that. They just want you to say, do this. <laughs> do this. That's what they want you to say. And 
Mantiaos people seem to be people in, in their form that do that. They say, oh, you know what? You can read the manual or you can just put this command in. That's again what I have heard and seen and noticed and all that from, from talking with people that have been uh, involved in the Mantiao forum. And I think that's why it's so popular. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, yeah, you see here, this is like people that are reporting. So the more reportings you get from games, the more users that technically are on the, on, you know, on the system. And you can see here, the, of course Ubuntu is the one with the, 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 that have the most gamers. Then, theoretically, Mantiao, Arts, Mint, Others, Unknown, Debian, PopOS, and Fedora. And I think the form, the guides on their websites, the overall reputation, and reputation is a really, really big thing for a lot of people. You can also see here growth per year or per month. Uh, reputation is a really, 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 really important thing. If, if a distribution, a product or something have a reputation of being user friendly, of being good to new people and stuff like that, they are more likely to use it. I know a lot of people say that the arts people are idiots and arrogant people and they are reading the fucking manual all the time. I have to say, on a personal level, I have never seen that. I have never had a problem with arts, but then again, I've never been in the arts forums. I never had a problem on, on other people's arts videos. If I ask a question, I get a really, really polite response or they guide me to a place where I can figure it out. Then again, I'm one person. So like like to say if there's if there's smoke there's fire. So if if the majority of people you're talking to having this perception of the arts people versus the Manjaro people, it could end up being through. Like take it's it it like 60-50. Oh no 60-50, what am I talking about? Like there's a 60% chance that well, if most people see that group of people like that, it must be true. You get what I'm saying? If everyone tells you you're an asshole, maybe you are an asshole. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So so that, that there must be something about it. I can just say from my own experience, I've never had problem with arts people, Magyar people, Endeavor and uh, people and stuff like that. But then again, I try to keep myself out of forums because forums, no matter how friendly they are, they can be a messy place with a lot of fanboyism, a lot of elitism and stuff like that because people that are interested in being in forums are people that are passionate about set project or set product so therefore they tend to be a little bit fanboyish if you get what i'm saying here unless there are like rules and guidelines that you cannot do that but th that that's kind of what how i see manjao like it's it's just art you know more stable again in quotes it take everything everyone says on youtube with a pinch of salt don't say see it as gospel do your own research test your own hardware because sometimes it's also hardware related with stability and stuff like that but for the most part Manjao just seems to work better than arts yes you get a little bit more bloat you know you, you get a lot of pre-installed programs even though it, it's a minimum install you don't get to choose 100% well you can do the architect installer but I'm, I'm just talking out of the uh, gnome installer here so with, with convenience and, and fastness and easy of install you get pushed some some ideas. You get pushed how the desktop should look like. If they want you to use some programs, they push that for you know they they want to have G thump in here. You know I may have selected another one if I was doing the the arts way. You kind of for convenience you give a little bit thing. You get some control up, but it's again with this minimum install. I don't have to uninstall something. I may have to install something. And then again, because it takes me like under five to ten, well, it takes me five to ten minutes to install this. Where if I did the arts, it would be much longer. But yes, I get everything I want. But then again, I I just want to get up and running. That's my biggest problem with the arts installing arts the arts way. I just want my OS to be installed so I can get on with stuff. Because I I, I don't really care if they use G Thumb or Rosetta or whatever as a, as an image viewer. If it's an image viewer and it works. Fine. And you know what? Six months down the line, a month down, down the line, you may even fucking remove it and install something else, even if you have installed it the arts way. That's why I think Manjao is doing a lot of good things better than, than arts is. If, again, if you are one of those people that like to do that, and you think it's fun, interesting, and it gets your nerd on to sit and install arts the arts way, do it. 
that's you, bro. Do it. I, I, I don't mind it. What I mind is that you are forcing it to other people. I'm out of here. See you all later. Bye-bye.